Hey guys, this is Max Katz with Apri.io. In this video, I want to show you a new feature that we just launched called API Express. That's the tab that's open. And um, API Express allows you to connect to an enterprise data system, and in particular, a relational database, um, and expose the database via a REST API. And then once the database is exposed via a REST API, you can easily use it in the mobile app. So we'll connect to a database, create APIs, and then quickly build a mobile app. So to start, we need to create a database connection. And what I have here is I have um, a SQL database running on Amazon Cloud. So here's an instance that um, there's a lot of information, but all we really need um, is this link endpoint. All right, but let's go back and we'll create a new connection. And we're going to call this Amazon DB, then the database type. And the host. So we're going to go back and get the host URL. Now we don't need the port here. We'll put it right here. Now the database name is demo db and then the username and the password. Right. Once we have a connection, you can test the connection. And here we go. Test successful. That means we're able to successfully connect to the database. So let's click save. Now, another thing you can do is um, uh, let me find um, here we go, sorry, the G admin. You can use any other software to connect to a database and create tables, for example, and add sample data. So I use PG admin. This is the database. Let's connect to it. And I have a simple, it has just one table. Right, employees. And then we can view the data. Right, so very simple, just two columns. So primary key and then uh, full name, right? So again, uh, but of course you can use any other client to connect to a database if you, if you would like. All right, so this is all done. Let's now go back. Okay, so we got the connection. Now, next, we need to create a project. Basically, so the project will expose the database via REST APIs. And we're going to call this HR API and click Create. Let's open it. Okay, now you can see we have got API selected. Now, we can create new model and so it will automatically generate the services for us. Another option is to use new service that allows you to create a custom service. But we'll come back to this in just a second. When we click new model, we're going to say employees. Uh, this, this is what's going to be in the endpoint. And this is um, all employees, just a description. And then we select the database connection. Okay. Now we select a table. There's only one table. And next we have an option to select which services we would like to auto-generate. We can keep all of them and click Save. Right? And you can see that we got all the services. So there is a service for delete, get, update, and so on. You can also, from here, you can test the service or the services. Right? So for find, get, and so on. Uh, for example, we want to get all the employees. So we can use find. The only thing is we don't need this payload. So we just make, make it empty. And then we're going to click test. All right? Then you can see instantly we get the information uh, as JSON via the REST API from the database. Now, what's also nice is that you can see the URL and you can actually copy it and use the tool of your choice. Or you can also just paste it into the browser window. Right? And same result, we get the JSON from the API, which is again exposes a relational database. Now, so once we have this, once we created an API service, it's very easy to build the mobile app with this API. Now let's copy this and go back. Now we'll open apps, we'll open a new tab. We'll create a new app. We'll call this 
API Express app. All right, we got a new app. Let's open the page. Now we'll use a list component for just displaying a list of uh, employees. We'll change the number of items to one. And then we're going to create a service. We just keep this default name. And we're going to paste the URL. So the only thing we need to do is we need to change here uh, to a blank because we're getting all the employees. We can now go to test and click test. All right, then you can see we get all the employees. And as always, we can create the response automatically. All right, so we're done with the service. We'll go back to the page. From design, we'll switch to data, and we'll add the page, the service to the page. And we'll map it. Nothing for the input, we'll just get all the employees. But for the output mapping, so this is all the employees, and then the full name will map to the text property in the list. The last thing we need to do is to invoke the service when we display the page. We'll change the event to page page show. Now invoke service and click save. And we can now test in the browser. All right, and here's the list of employees. So you can see it's a very, um, very nice feature and it's very easy to use. Basically, there is a, a relational database that's running. In my example, it's running on the Amazon cloud. <clears throat> we then, using API Express, the new feature in Apri.io, we connect it to the database, and then we also created REST services that talk to the database. And then, as the last step, we built a mobile app that talks to the REST API. So again, if you have a relational database, it's very simple to build an app using the database. Um, I also promised to show you the service. So we sort of auto-generated the services when we created a new model. You can also create a custom service if you would like. And you basically give it a name. But what's important here is that when you click on SQL icon, you can write your own SQL. So if you need to do join tables, for example, or write any SQL you want, you can do that. So that allows you, gives you more flexibility and kind of a more power to create your own SQL and, of course, expose it via a REST API. All right. So again, definitely give this a try. Uh, and we have a detailed tutorial on our Dev Center on how to set up the database on Amazon. So if you don't have your own database, just follow the steps, it's very easy, um, and you'll be able to set up your own database on Amazon. Thanks for watching.